Hi, in this video we'll talk about how to use the proper wording to describe the lines on the graphs. This is because later on, uh, in the next video, I will want you to do a simulation activity by yourself and you need to describe the graph that you obtain from the simulation and put down your answers there. So before that, you definitely need to learn about how to express the description of the graph properly. In the past, I never thought of including this in my first lesson because I thought the students were good at that. However, I find too many people saying, oh, this is a graph with a straight line or linear line, uh, or these are uh, four graphs with curves. And these, obviously, uh, you don't have enough description about the line itself. Uh, or there are some other students uh, try to describe saying, uh, this graph okay, is increasing exponentially and this graph is decreasing exponentially. Let me tell you, this is wrong. Nani? Okay, Because you don't know about the mathematical equation of this line. You, you just see the shape only. So when you try to use the word exponential, you have to ensure that the equation has to be exponential as well. So that would be like something like, for example, y equal to 2 to the power of x. But then there are actually many kind of curves which look like this, but then they are not exponential functions. So you cannot abuse the word exponential all the time whenever you see a curve. So please do not do that. Instead, I would say what you can do about describing this graph is you can try to use these six options and that should be pretty good enough for you to cover uh, most of the cases in physics so right now i want you to pause the video try to match each of these options with the graph itself and then we'll check the answers together so pause the video now a few moments later all right let's check the answers so for the first two a and b obviously they are the only stretch lines that you have and they will be constant slope for sure so for a you can see that it, the number is actually decreasing along y and we call it down slope you may call and the other one b is uh, going to be up slope so for a is actually a negative slope so i would put it as two but then the slope is constant obviously because at any single point uh, they are having the same steepness for b uh, it would be constant positive slope because again uh, it's going uphill uphill and so that is positive so i guess it's like uh, a metaphor of your life if you are climbing up then it is a positive life if you are going down for some reason then this is quite negative please make sure you really put down and copy the words here just to practice you know writing it and that will be helpful and also when you try to revise it in the future then you can see the words directly Next, if we look at option 3 and 4, you can see that they are both increasing. And obviously for 5 and 6, they are both decreasing, which we'll look at it later on. Um, but for 3, it is increasing in an increasing rate. That means it increases faster and faster and faster. For number 4, it will be like kind of like the opposite. It's still increasing, but then the rate of increasing is becoming slower and slower and slower. By the way, this should be a not end. Okay, a typo here. And if you look at this, then obviously, let's look at which two are increasing. So uh, I can see C and also F, all right? They are both increasing, kind of, you know, kind of increasing. And this is kind of increasing too. So uh, these mu must be three or four. And so if you look at C, when you look at its slope, it's very steep and then later on it's not as steep and even more gentle so this one must be increased with a decreasing rate so that means number four okay again you can copy the words for f obviously then it will be number three which means increased with an increasing rate because you see the slope uh, it kind of start with gentle uh, but of course positive still and then it become more steep and much more steep later on when times goes by if you understand that then the last two shouldn't be hard for you so five and six are both decrease but then five is decrease in an increasing rate that means it's getting worse and worse and worse it's becoming faster and faster when you decreased number six is decrease with decreasing rate that means it is 
decreasing but then it's not getting as worse so it's kind of slower and slower so uh, leaving us with obviously uh, D and E and then you can see D is getting worse because uh, at the beginning it's kind of dropping like with a more gentle negative slope but then the slope is changing become more and more steep so for this one it will be an increasing rate so that means number five All right that means uh, E will be number six because it's decreasing if you look at the slope it's decreasing very like steep uh, downward uh, slope and then it become more gentle and eventually it's almost level off so this will be decrease with a decreasing rate all right so here you have it now you know how to describe the lines on the graph with these simple wordings and if you are okay with that then you can move on to the next simulation activity on your own you just have to follow my instruction on the note and you should be able to finish uh, one two three four five yeah five pages five different experiments in the simulation so um, yeah you may just go ahead let me know if you got any questions and I will see you again in the next video to explain the result that you should obtain from the simulation. I will see you again in the next video. Bye.